So when I heard that uh, Werner von Braun and his team of rocket scientists had uh, immigrated to the United States, had been brought over to the United States by the Army, uh, I f you know, followed their work a lot. Um, they were building missiles. And uh, when finally uh, President Eisenhower decided to create a civilian space agency uh, in 1958 as a result of uh, Soviet uh, successes in space, uh, and von Braun and his rocket people transferred over from the army to the civilian NASA, then I knew my time had come. I just at that time finished my studies as an engineer in Germany, and so I wrote him letters. Uh, we corresponded, and he always gave me good advice um, what subjects to concentrate on and so on. And uh, so I asked him one day, well, I want to come to America, um, but since I'm a greenhorn, um, I probably should get some experience first, learn the ropes and go to industry first. So I, uh, I immediately got a telegram from him and then a letter, don't go to industry, come to Huntsville, we are flying to the moon. And then when uh, President Kennedy uh, was convinced and uh, set uh, the moon as a goal, because it's hard, he said, uh, if, it were, you know, if it was easy, we never would look back later on, but if it is hard, that's why we're doing it. The majority of the public was behind him. The Congress was fully behind him. The media were fully behind it. But uh, before that, years and years had gone by where he had to prepare uh, f folks for that. Basically, today, when you talk to engineers who are now building another rocket, almost, you know, I think a little bit taller than the Saturn V, they, they look at you and they're saying, how the heck did you do that? You know, in six years, it was just the spirit, the enthusiasm, and the leadership of, of someone who made you totally um, convinced that he knew what he was talking about. And when von Braun said, we can do it, uh, we knew we could do it.